yelling? Oh my gosh. Okay, Johan is yelling at her. They're just arguing, you guys. Oh my god. Diana, you need to move. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. So in today's episode, we are going to be, I wanted to like slow down our episodes a little bit because I feel like the past few episodes just have been like marriages and babies and aging up and like all this stuff going on. So I really liked focusing on just like storylines of things. Although the very beginning of this, as you guys can see, we are about to go to the Royal Family of Willow Creek because I realized in the last episode, I wanted for I wanted Corinne and I wanted Louie to try for another baby, but I couldn't because the house was full and then I forgot to have them try for a baby later in the episode. So I'm going to have them try for a baby now. And then I think we're gonna age, oh, mm, do I wanna age up Princess Genevieve? I might wait a little bit. Uh, no, I really, oh guys, I really wanna see what she looks like, but I also don't wanna rush things, okay. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until the next episode to age up Princess Genevieve because I think I am possibly going to age up Princess Diana in this episode. I don't know. I haven't I haven't decided yet. But this right here we have. So in the last episode we did age up Prince Cornelius. So this is cute little Prince Cornelius. He is so cute. He's just like jamming out and dancing right now. So yeah, we're going to have Corinne and Louis Trevor baby. They're still in their outfits from the wedding of both of Louis siblings. Actually, it was both Belle and uh, Jack's wedding. So they are both still in their outfits from that. So they're trying for a baby right now. Also in this episode, I do want to go over a few things. I'm probably going to go through the, some of the comments because there are some comments that I missed and people made a lot of good points in comments. So I want to definitely go over that. So we're going to do that and then we're going to focus on Princess Amelia and Johan in this episode too. It will definitely be a lot of fun. I'm not going to focus on aging up or like trying for a lot of babies or any marriages or anything at the moment because I do want to just like slow down and focus on the story a little bit. So we are having them try for baby at the moment. I am looking forward to seeing what Princess Genevieve is going to look like. It is very hard not to age her up because I do want to see what she's going to look like. But I'm also, guys, the next video I'm going to post is going to be the video where you guys can see the like babies of couples that never happened. So I'm so excited to film that. I'm like not being, I'm not able to take any more requests because I'm going to film this like directly after this episode, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited to see all of those babies. Okay, so Corinne just, uh, she is done trying for babies. So I am going to have her take a pregnancy test. Okay, and Corinne is pregnant guys so she they they're having their third baby i think that's all the babies they're going to have i think i i think three is enough because there's going to be so so many babies so she's telling louie now to like we're having another baby we are going to now go to manage world so i am going to go to the royal family of windenburg i might just go through the worlds and kind of give you guys updates on things i have not ha oh i do want jack and Arya to try for a baby. Mm, uh, yeah, maybe I should maybe I should do that too. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so Jack and Arya just got married in the last episode. So they are living with his mother. So technically he is actually, so I need to go to rename because he is now the Earl of Oasis Springs. Someone made a very good point because in, uh, I think it was two episodes ago, I changed Earl Dean's name to Prince Consort Dean of Sulani, but it actually isn't supposed to be Prince Consort Dean because Princess Leilana is not the queen yet. So I do need to change that, but I will do that later on. I'm not really gonna focus on them in this episode. So I have now changed their names and then I am also going to have them try for a baby. So while they are doing that, I will kind of go through a few of the comments from, so this isn't from the last episode, it's the one before that. So people were saying about Amir and Johan that they think they should have a big wedding um, because I wasn't sure if they should have a big wedding or like just a, like a really small one since it's technically an arranged marriage. And people were saying that they should have a big one. People were saying that Amir and Johan are actually really cute together. So maybe they'll start falling for each other. Someone said that it, like they, they can see that Amir and Johan are really cute together, but they would like to kind of see 
the feelings progress over time. And they are actually going to, I think Amir is going to invite Johan over to their summer palace in this episode. So we'll kind of get to see them do that. And people were naming suggestions for Amir and Johan's baby. I think we are going to name their first daughter Alice May. I really do like that a lot. Uh, someone suggested kind of combining their names and doing Melissa, like because it's like May and Alice. Uh, but I, I do like that. I think it's really cute. I do think we are going to stick with the like Alice May sort of thing. Um, oh, okay. So she is done trying for a baby. So I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test and we'll get to see if Countess Arya, I'm gonna have to get used to calling her Countess Arya because I'm so used to calling her Lady Arya. And then we're going to go see if she is pregnant. Okay, so she's taking a pregnancy. Oh, does that mean she's pregnant? Oh, she is pregnant. Oh, that was really, really fast. Jack and Arya are now pregnant guys. So they are going to be having a baby. So we'll get a few more little babies coming in uh, here and there. So that is kind of what we're gonna do as far as like updating because I just, I, I felt like the past few episodes, like they were just going so fast. So I don't know if you guys like it more when like they do kind of go faster and you guys get to see all the marriages and then like all the babies and stuff. Or if you guys do like more of like the storytelling sort of aspect of things. But we are going to the Wittenberg Summer Palace. I did tell you guys in the last episode that I am just going to download a palace from the gallery for the new Wittenberg Palace and then remodel it from there because there is just a lot of work that goes into it and I need to use my time wisely. There's still like a lot of adult stuff I have to do. It's just like I need to like sell my car and like all this stuff. So it's like things I don't want to have to worry about, but I do have to worry about at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do with their palace. So they're going to still be in the summer palace probably for a little bit longer since it is summertime. But I do want to continue going over the other marriages or uh, not the other marriages. I want to continue going over your comments, not your marriages. So we are here at the Winterbrook summer home, but I'll just kind of like leave them to it. So people were saying that, so yeah, it was just like a lot of thing about Johan and Amira's relationship. I think that's for the most part, I think I answered a lot of stuff in that episode. And then this last episode that I just posted, it was only, I only posted it like five hours ago. So there, I still have not gotten to at all, like all the comments and everything yet. Someone was saying, uh, well, this is not really relevant to this episode, but someone was saying, shouldn't King Mahaka still be a prince since his mom is still alive? No, because his dad was the king not and his mom was not the heir to the throne. So she, he is the king. He is the king because his father died. And then uh, also I think that king, when king and queens are elders, sometimes the prince and princess should be king and queen because I have a feeling they'd want to see their kids rule a country. I don't know if kings and queens just retire sometimes. I usually think they rule until they die or until they're too ill to do anything. I don't know. I, I don't really see that if like the king is still alive or the queen is still alive but maybe maybe they'll like retire or something. But then also someone was saying that shouldn't the royal kids of Windenburg, so basically Bella and Diana, or Bellatrix and Diana and Charles, um, basically saying that why are they not teenagers yet? Because I've kept them as toddlers for a very long time. I, haven't, I don't think they've been toddlers for that long. I think they've only been toddlers for like, like maybe four or five episodes or so, but maybe it just felt like a while because I've put like some episodes in between the episodes. But yeah, I haven't like waited too long. I mean, they're all on long on the long lifespan, but I still age them up early and I don't want to rush it. I still want to enjoy them being like the different age spans, lifespans. So I think we're gonna like, st I like the speed of, of the way they're going right now. Someone said we don't find out if the babies are mermaids when they're until they're teenagers. So I do know that now. And then someone said that Princess Diana and Prince Cornelius should get married one day which I think they would actually be really cute. I, I will talk about that in this episode. So I think that was everything. I thought there was, I thought, I thought I was missing something. I feel like I was supposed to answer another question, but I can't remember what it was, but hopefully I'll remember a little bit later. So in the last episode, I also did show you guys, oh, we have Charles talking to him. Oh gosh, they look alike. They really do. They're definitely brother and sister, um, but they are talking and just hanging out and that's really, really cute. So I know it's like super late, but I do think I am going to have Amira invite over pretty Prince Johan. Hopefully it's not too late, but if it is, we'll just teleport him over. And then I do want Kellen to invite over Princess Megan because I feel like he misses her a lot. They have not talked in a while, but he did see her at, oh, Prince Johan sleeping. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, I do need to teleport him here then. And then I feel like Kellen saw, okay, they're both sleeping. Uh, I feel like Kellen saw Megan at the wedding in the last episode and he just like 
realized how much he missed her, so I think that he does want to invite her over to like talk and stuff too. Okay, so Amira has invited over Johan, so they are just talking for now. So I do think they would make a really cute couple. I know that it's like stressful for them though, just because of the situation they have been put in about like Princess May and Amira and like Johan and May having like a really strong relationship and then now he's like in this arranged marriage with her sister after she has passed away and I think they're both still very upset about everything. So it is interesting to see and then Kellen is talking to Princess Megan over here so I think I'm also going to have to like ask him to stargaze with her or something like that. But I do think with them, I don't know guys, I feel like Princess Megan, she's very much like sort of a free spirit. I feel like she's outgoing for sure, but she's just like, she's got such like a calming personality to me. And I just, I like, I do, I think she would make a very great queen. I just don't know if she would want to be queen because I just, I don't know. I, she has such like a calming personality and I feel like she would want to do, oh, okay, well, she just got up immediately. Maybe she doesn't want to stargaze with him. Oh, no, 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 okay, she's getting back to that. But I just feel like she just, she just cares a lot about the environment and she just wants to just do really great thing. Okay, well, they're not stargazing, um, but she just wants to do like really great things and she wants to just, take advantage of her position and like have a voice, which I mean, she could do if she was queen, but I just don't think that's like her main focus right now. I do also feel like King Henry might be a little bit stressed. I feel like he's talking to Evangeline right now as they're like watching their daughter play. I, wait, maybe we can age up Princess Diana in this episode. We'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll I'll get to it later. Um, But so I feel like Henry is kind of like, just talking to Queen Evangeline and saying like, I don't like, I, I feel bad for Amir. I feel bad for like pushing her and Johan together. And I feel like he's talked about this to King Jared a lot as well. But I just, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I think they're just gonna wait to see what happens with Amir and Johan and see if they do get along pretty well. I did see something about like them being able to have their first kiss. So I, I would like them to do that. So it looks like there is no romantic relationship at all with Meg. I don't know if their friendship is actually going to, it's going down a lot. Like actually a lot. So hopefully that's not a thing. I don't know. It keeps going down. And I don't know if it's actually going down or if it's just telling me it's going down. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Hopefully it's like not a bad thing. Uh, but it looks like Amira and Johan are still stargazing. I do see something for the first kiss though. So I kind of do want them to have their first kiss. I, I might have them just like flirt a little bit more and kind of see how this goes. So we'll just have them flirt a bit. And then Kellen with Megan. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to see them flirt and see what happens with that because I just want to see if she's into it. So we'll do like a little flirting thing. And I think I might have them go like sit in the garden so they can have like a little bit of privacy and they're not directly out front in front of their house. Oh, do we even have a bench in the garden? Wait, we d wait, seriously, we don't have a bench in the gardens? Well, how are you supposed to enjoy this? Okay, well, let's, let's just go here then. So sit and chat here. So you guys can go inside. Amira and Johan, it looks like they are going inside to play games, I guess, but I do want them to flirt a little bit more. But guys, oh my God, Megan is so beautiful. I, I kept this like braid in her hair. I might change her hairstyle a little bit too, because someone was saying that we need to kind of make, oh, that was the other comment. Someone was saying that we need to make the Sims kind of start looking older. I don't remember if I talked about that or not, but yeah, so make them start looking a little bit older, which we definitely need to do. Like Kellen probably should start looking a little bit older. Same with like Louie and Jack, because they still kind of look like, like teenagers to me. So I would like to kind of do a little bit of changes maybe add some facial hair for them too. So we'll kind of see with that, but I can definitely do that a little bit later. So maybe, okay, so I feel like Kellen now is going to tell Megan that he does like her. And I feel like he's gonna tell her like a confessing attraction. So like, I think now he's gonna tell her like, I really miss you. Although his his little brother's right there, but he, he might hear that whole thing. But just saying like, I really do miss you. Like this, like the past few months have just been really, really hard. And I, I, like, even though I still miss my sister. Oh, no, guys, she wasn't about it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't know, guys. I feel like Megan is just like, I, 
I don't know. Maybe she, like, doesn't want to be queen. Maybe this just is, like, getting too stressful for her. And maybe just she doesn't like the pressure of her, of, of like, this. Because I'm sure her mother is also kind of pressuring her to be with Kellen. Because, like, she would become the queen of Windenburg. Oh, God. I don't know, guys. This, this is difficult. I feel like Kellen is having just, like, a lot of thoughts and a lot of things going on. That poor boy. I feel like so many things have happened to him. He's lost his mother. He's lost his sister. Like, he was, she was, he was so close to his sister. And, I mean, same thing with the mirror. Like, so many things have happened to them and I feel so bad. Also, these things are, like, moving. Like, it makes it look like it's moving. And that's because whoever built this, like, I got this from the gallery. They put, like, multiple columns into one thing. And I don't, it's, like, literally, like, each one of them has, like, six columns in it. And I just don't understand why they needed to use that many. But now it looks like these columns are alive and have, like, a mind of its own. So it's a little bit freaky. Okay, so, Amira, I think we're gonna have her find Johan again. And then people were saying that Diana and Cornelius would make a really cute couple, which they totally would. Which is kind of why I do want to wait. I mean, she's not even supposed to age up yet. I think she still has, like, a few days to age up. So she still has three days to age up. But I do think that uh, Diana and Cornelius would make a very cute couple. Diana is significantly older than Cornelius, but maybe, maybe not by much. I mean, they're both toddlers right now. He just turned into a toddler in the last episode, but I still think they'd be really, really cute. So then also, guys, I was kind of thinking, because Prince Charles just aged up into a child, and though he is older, I feel like Prince Charles and Princess Arya of Oasis Springs would make a very cute couple, and that way Prince Charles could possibly become the the prince, or, or he would marry, like, the queen of Oasis Springs, because she is the heir to the throne. So that's another possibility. He is a lot older than her, but I still think that would be really, really cute. So that is a possibility. And then Amira, so I'm gonna have Amira talk to Johan a little bit more. Also, guys, I do know that Charles and Bellatrix, I didn't even change her name to Princess Bellatrix, uh, but I do know that they are not wearing black like the rest of the family because the rest of the family is still in mourning. And I, I, I guess I could pick all black outfits for them to still be in mourning. But like they barely knew their sister May because they were like babies and toddlers when when she was still alive. So they, I mean, they're definitely not as affected by this as everyone else is, especially Diana. She's not gonna remember any of this. But I do feel like out of respect, they should all be wearing black. So I think I will change their outfits pretty soon. But guys, they're so cute and they get along really well and they're like twins and they're so, so cute too. I love them a lot. So I am going, oh no, wait, where did Johan go? I thought Amira was just talking to him. Okay, so Amira and Johan are talking now. So I do want them to, oh wait, 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 why can't she have her first kiss anymore? Wait, guys, that was definitely an option when I saw that on here. Maybe I'll have her do a pickup line. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Things are kind of awkward because her dad's here and now it's a group conversation. So I'm gonna have her dad leave. You should probably chase after your, your running child. Like, she looks like she is running away. So, oh, you can just watch a toddler. That's really cute, actually. I know that's, like, such a simple interaction, but just having, like, an adult be able to just, like, watch the toddler, like, I feel like that's very relevant. Oh, and then we have Princess Bellatrix. She's getting some responsibility for taking out the trap. So that's really nice. Okay, so Amira and Johan are both feeling very flirty. So I am going to have her... I'm gonna have them do their first kiss, guys. This is going to be really, really cool. Okay, so Amira and Johan are now having their very first kiss, guys. So they just had their first kiss and that's like a huge step, I feel like. That seems a little bit... I don't know. Like, it, it just... It, I feel like it, it is happening like very, very fast. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, is she okay? Wait, I don't understand what's happening right now. Wait, wait, wait. Why is Johan yelling at her, you guys? Wait, wait, are they like actually mad or are they just irritated about something else? <gasps> oh my God, guys, what is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, Johan is yelling at her and they literally just kissed. Maybe it was like really, maybe it was weird for them. Maybe it was, maybe it was like, wait, oh, Princess Diana, you, you're kind of, this isn't a very awkward moment for you to be running to. Wait, and then Kellen is just like watching from the side. Like I, oh, and he's so close with the mirror too, guys. And he's just watching this right now. I feel like he is probably stressing out about, oh gosh, sorry. I feel like he's probably stressing out about this. They're like, they're just arguing, you guys. Oh my God. Diana, you need to move. <laughs> Kellen, you need to grab your sister. This is a very awkward conversation, a very serious conversation. And also you probably shouldn't just be spying on them either, but that's fine. You can, you can just stand there, I guess. Guys, they just got in like a, like a really heated argument. Like they were fighting for a really long time. And I don't know if it's, because of that or like what happened oh gosh guys kellen just saw that whole thing too i feel like he has to tell his father about that because i definitely think that maybe i feel like his father and him have oh guys 
Okay, so he's going to talk to his father about this because they need to, they need to, uh, there's like not just discuss, okay, just, just talk to him. So you need to talk to your father. Um, maybe give some, oh, okay, so I think he's going to give some family advice. Oh, no, 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 she's doing, they're having an offensive conversation. Oh, oh, no. Okay. They're, well, well, that just made Johan feel flirty, I guess, but they're having an offensive conversation and their, their romantic relationship is going down. You go, guys, I really, I feel like this seriously must have been because of the kiss. Like, maybe it, I mean, but they seemed fine when they first kissed, but then they started arguing. They keep yelling at each other too, guys. Oh no. Okay, Kellen uh, is talking to his father right now. I feel like they need to go somewhere private to discuss this. I do feel like, so I, I do have an idea. I think that they're going to go have a chat. And I feel like they're going to invite some other people to go have a chat with them because I think there's something important that they need to talk about. This all is happening right now. Uh, Queen Evangeline is like, I should probably not get in the middle of this. Although the kids are like all right here. And I feel like she needs to tell the children to, to go upstairs too, because this is, there's just a lot of things happening. I'm going to have Bellatrix and Charles do their homework. Princess Diana keeps following Amira around, which is actually really, really cute, but it's just at like bad, bad time. So I think she needs to also go somewhere else. So just just go and like talk to the bear or the dinosaur, whatever it is. Okay, so uh, Kellen is talking to his father and they're having a serious conversation here, guys. Kellen is also feeling inspired, which definitely helps my idea of the uh, little idea that he has. They're both feeling very inspired. So to go along with our idea, I know I'm not telling you guys what the idea is yet because I, I have an idea. I have an idea, so they have an idea. So we are going to invite over some family member or so just some people that they need to talk to about this idea that he has okay so they have just invited over some people so you guys can see who we invited so they have invited over king jared at whoa marcia's anna she looks so angry what is happening right now so and marcia's anna i still have not changed her name i really need to guess i need to focus on her family pretty soon but so they have invited them over because we got a little plan you guys so they why is she so angry what is going on with her okay i don't i do not know what's going on but we're going to invite them over to chat okay so march's anna has come to sit down kellen is filling her in and then we also have king henry he's going to get king jared so they can chat too oh guys they did like a little like handshake thing i i've never seen them do that i love that i don't know if you guys saw that but that was so cool i've never actually seen sims do that before so they're doing their thing. I did not realize that this is all like just windows. Like, like I, I don't actually like that. I kind of want to get rid of that because I want them to have a little bit of privacy in this room. Okay, so they're all having a bit of a private conversation in there. We don't know what they're talking about. We can see them from the window here. Things are kind of going, oh no, no, Ryan, you guys can't really see them from the window here. I can't get it to like angle right. Okay, there you go. You guys can see it now. So they're having a serious conversation in there. And then we have Princess Amira. I I think Johan might have gone home, actually. Let's see, did he go home? He did go home, guys. He's not on my teleport lot, lot sim to this sim, so that means he's not on the lot. It looks like they got so angry at each other that he went home. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Why is this, what is happening? So they did get very, very angry at each other, although she's still feeling very flirty. I don't know why she's still feeling very flirty because they were just fighting like a lot. So, and then, okay, I do think that, okay, so Kellen is over here. I do think uh, Evangeline is probably going to go to talk to Amira because she, they, they definitely get along really well and she is very good at comforting Amira. So we're gonna have them talk. And then it looks like Kellen and all of them is, oh, it's very dark in here. And and Jared is doing push-ups suddenly and I don't know why, but I think their conversation's going well, you guys. So I think they're going to ask Amira to come in here so they can tell her what they talked about. Okay, so Amira is walking into the room. Oh, she just walked through the door, but they have called her in here to discuss some things. Okay guys, so they are all talking to Amira and telling her her idea or their idea, Kellen's idea. So basically Kellen has been thinking about this for a very, very long time. I feel like he's been thinking about abdicating his title. And I know that I had said that this would not be a thing because I thought that they had already given that Kellen the throne. I just didn't think this would be something that they did. And they didn't give the, like they wouldn't give the throne to Amira because King George or King Henry and King George, because I feel like King George, his fa King Henry's father had like a big impact on like his decisions too. But he's very old fashioned. So I didn't think that they were like ready to give 
like the title to a female yet, but now things like times are changing. There are female heirs and, and I feel like Henry knows that now. I feel like Kellen has told her that he's like, he was willing to give up the throne. He is abdicating, he does not want to be king, and he thinks that Amira deserves to be the ruler of Windenburg and to be the queen because she's already been so much, she's grown so much. And I feel like they're telling, they're asking King Jared and, queen, and uh, Princess Anna, Mar Marchioness Anna, if they would be okay with Johan marrying one of Princess Anna's daughters, which there is an age gap, but it's not too much of an age gap. Like I think her oldest daughter, uh, Lady Ezra, is going to be a young adult very, very soon, or she might actually already be a young adult. And then Sadira is like a lot younger and there's Aurora too, she's the middle child, which she might actually be dating someone already. But guys, it's a thought, it's a thought. So I feel like this is a huge thing. I feel like Amira is thinking about this. Like she's like thinking about this. And I feel like Kellen did this because he saw like how unhappy Johan and Amira were. and I. I feel like that was his explanation to Jared, which is Johan's father, and his father, Henry, is saying that, like, they, look, like, it's weird for them. If you're gonna make them get married, like, it's weird because Johan and May, they had a very close relationship and they were in love, so you, you can't force, like, a, like, a sibling to, like, that's just weird. And I feel like that's what, like, made the kiss weird is, like, Johan was like, okay, oh my god, you're May's sister, like, this is so, this is just too much, this is so, so freaky. So I feel like they, like, I feel like they freaked out and I feel like that's why they got into the argument. I feel like Amira also like kind of realized like, okay, this is, this is not what I want. And now Kellen, her little brother, like just cares about her so much and he thinks that she would be like an amazing ruler. And I feel like he's just giving her those like words of, of like affirmation, like you are going to be amazing and I really want you to do this. So I feel like Henry has agreed, Jared and Anna have agreed, and now it's up to Amira to agree, guys. So I think I'm going to to end this episode here. We're gonna end this on a little bit of a cliffhanger. I am very interested to see your guys' thoughts, but I am going to wait to film another episode until I get the, until I see your guys' comments. Also, because I am doing the, like, whose baby is who in the next video that I'm posting, I'm not going to do Amir and Johan because we don't know if they're gonna end up together or not. So I'll probably do another one of those videos in the future so you guys can see what their baby would look like or have looked like. I just don't want them to end up together and then, like, we have already seen what their baby looks like. So I just want it all to be a surprise. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This, hit that like button if you did if you like this little bit of a plot twist and if you like focusing like a little bit more on the story of the royal families too i cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts on that and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and turn on your notifications so you never miss another video and i will see you guys in the next episode bye